Um, obviously, the first thing that needs to be said is a huge, huge thank you to Carmel and Robert and their wonderful daughters for hosting this beautiful, beautiful, and I said, and their daughters for hosting this beautiful. <laughs> And, um, I mean, it's just, it's, it's wonderful, so thank you so much. Um, and I would also like to just thank a few other people, and then we'll introduce this wonderful video that you're going to see. Um, but um, first I'm going to start by thanking um, Andrea LaRue, who is one of the board members and who has put so much work and effort into this now for more than a year, so thank you. Jessica Weber, who's now become a kind of a full-time volunteer and who's also done a lot to help us move the, the foundation forward. Um, so thank you to you and um, to uh, Richard and Melinda Elliott right here, who without whom it just wouldn't be what it is. Melinda is our is our treasurer, money person. She's a CPA, so she makes sure that we're compliant, which as a 501c3, many of you know, is very important. We don't want to lose that status. So thank you, Melinda, for that. And Richard is our everything else guy. He is our web guy, tech, social media, marketing, everything you can think of. So much of what this organization has been able to do to raise money for the orphans at Solomon Klein is due to that man right there. So thank you very much. Um, and of course, I need to thank really the, the reason for all this, my wife, Angie Aww. Kelly, <laughs> who, um, whose family is from Cochabamba, and um, really, you know, five years ago, inspired us and, and our daughters to go and, um, and volunteer in your family's hometown. And that includes my wonderful daughter, Amanda, over there. And you'll hear from some of the other young people who have been down there in, a few, uh, in just a few minutes. You'll hear from them. And, and yes, and her friend Camille has been down there now for three years with us also, so that's great. Um, and then just a quick word that I, I know everyone who is here probably thinks a lot about just, you know, how we can leave this world a better place, what we can do to share with um, you know, those who are less fortunate than we are, and there are so many ways to do that, and this is also one of them. We have um, been up close and personal with these children in Cochabamba, Bolivia. Um, we can tell you that there's a tremendous amount of need, um, and I won't bring everybody down with really the details of the need, but it's very much there, and everything that you do to support them, every donation you make, goes directly to them, because we're all volunteers. There's no overhead with this Michael, organization. Michael, can I throw out the numbers? Yeah, actually, okay. that's good. She's a good CPA. Good. Yes. Well, yeah. She's yeah. Well, the numbers, too. Yeah, so, no, just so you have an idea of what we've been up to, because this is what, what it really means. One of the things that Richard and I are always concerned about when we give money to charity is how much of it's really going to, to the ch children or to the, you know, the base of that, what the charity is all about. So, I just, we started this September 1st. Of last Almost year. exactly a year ago. So from inception through August 31st, which is exactly one year, we raised $47,000. That's a lot of money in Bolivia for the 45000 of that has already been sent to Mama Emma. Great. Uh, 1,132 um, has been wire transfer fees because there's international wire yeah. transfer fees bank fees and credit card fees, and the rest is still, what difference is that? It's on Harvard. It's still in the bank. It's, 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 it's still in the bank, right? It's around 2%, two, two percent, you know. Yeah, 97.5% of the money, you know, to 98% goes directly down to Mama Emma. And the way it works is that uh, Mama Emma being Emma Rojas, who's the director of the organ, she's been at Solomon Klein Orphanage for almost 30 years. She's been the director for many of those. and. We wire the money directly to the orphanage's account. I mean, you, you guys should know this. I know it's a little bit nitty gritty, but this is really what happens. And then she uses it to buy, you can think of it, food, medicine, milk, formula, diapers, maintaining the physical plant. And so all the basic things, and especially paying all the staff, because it's a 24 seven operation. They don't go home, that is their home. So. It's a tremendous uh, burden on her to find the money. She gets about 40% of her funding from the Bolivian government, and the other 60% has to come from folks like us. So that's, the, that's what it's going toward. And uh, 
But on top of that, the director is amazing about giving these kids a really dignified life and an education. It's not just feeding and clothing and bathing. It is, she runs a Montessori program, a pre-K, a kindergarten. She has improved the physical plant. She put in a new water filtration system. This is all in the last year because of the donations we've been able to get from folks like you. So it's all very real. And when you go down there and see it, it's it, it changes your life. So anyway, that's I'll, I'll kind of stop there. With, no, that's with all. That I mean, event. unless anybody any questions. But I just I wanted to express the point that you know, other than the credit card fees and the wire transfer fees that we can't control. All of the, um, the shirts that you see everybody wearing, they were donated by my husband. The cups, the chip clips, they were donated by my husband and I. Um, all the food, um, Carmel, she did all the work in setting this up. Everything was donated, all of our time, efforts, and everything. None of that's coming out of the money that we're asking you to give to the orphan. It's all going to the orphan. Did you have a question? I was just wondering what the annual budget was. How much of the 47, what percentage is yeah, that of the annual it's, budget? Um, it's in the vicinity of, of, of what um, she needs to raise. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. it's, it's approximately, a, it's about a quarter of what she needs to raise, uh, a quarter to a third. And, uh, and this year our goal, I should say this, our goal this year is to raise, so that our year being our fiscal year, it's September 1 to September 1, uh, $60,000 because we can, I mean, $5,000 a month to her is a huge difference for those kids. It's tremendous. It's like yeah, it's everything is basically, I mean, $1 is seven Bolivianos, yeah. and, you know, it's not, things are much less expensive there, so it goes a long, long way. And then so it's nice it. to have a little extra money in our checking account, like the month that Emma, um, the kids got the chicken pox. Right. And, and Emma <laughs> needed $2,000 to get money, or for to medication. get medicine for the kids. Right. So we were able to send an extra $2,000 over and above the normal five that we planned. There were some months over the past year we didn't send, because we just didn't have the money. Right. Um, but like I said, of the 47, 45 has been used. I can answer that. Yeah. <laughs> when you're online, there's a, a donor component, right? And you go in there and you can select a fee. So let's say it's a hundred dollars. There's a checkbox that you can actually then select to say, can for you to actually take the fees themselves. So that means then 100% of that hundred dollars is going to us, and then you're paying the credit card fees on the back end. Got it. Most people do it that way so that you're getting the full amount going towards. The orphanage. And I thought that there was an option to set up a monthly donation. Yes, you can do a monthly as well. And that those fees don't change. No, no, nothing good. The, the nice thing is, um, yeah, we're a nonprofit, so the interest rate on the, the uh, credit card is much less. Um, but it, none of that fees or anything else kind of changes. Yeah, I mean, and a check, uh, I literally take your check to the Arlington Credit Union and put it in there, and that's 100%. So that's. Yeah, exactly. That's not really. Um, <laughs> So that no, that's a good question. In re, we do have some recurring donors. Yes. Um, actually, some adoptive parents, especially um, from out of town, um, are that, and that is a tremendously valuable thing to, to come in every month. I'm, you know, I'm jumping up and down because we get low, and then those regular ones come in, and that's mm -hmm. hugely helpful. But anything, any little thing that you can do, just trust us. It goes a tremendously long way, and directly to those kids mm -hmm. um, who need a lot. So, let's see the kids. Let's see the kids and <laughs> yes. stop talking the about kids. the adults. All right. Okay, you guys ready? Definitely taking care of all their own nutrition. Other the own. When the lives have only begun, these could be our donors. And just like a drum, I can hear their hearts beating. I know my God won't let them be defeated. Every child has a dream to belong.
here we have the infant room, and as you can see, there's several, several beds that are being displayed here. Um, Hello together, my name is Patricia and I live in Switzerland and I want to thank you so much for supporting and donating to my second home, Salomon Klein in Bolivia. Hello, my name is Gabriel Maiga. Fui acá en el año 1999 en el Salomón Clay. Que Dios da las gracias por apoyar a los fanatos de Salomón Clay en Bolivia. Mi nombre es Mark Conrad y fui adoptado por Salomón Clay en junio de 1997. Actualmente vivo en el estado de Connecticut y quiero agradecer a todos por donar y contribuir a los niños y a la gente de Salomón Clay. Gracias. Hola, soy Marcelo Orange, soy de Chile, 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 soy de Chile. Bonjour, moi c'est la grand-père, j'appelle Cathy Norbert, et donc du coup j'ai 22 ans, et je fais actuellement des études de droit et de management. Voilà, on était adoptés toutes les trois, et maintenant on habite en l'heure de la France, et on vous fait de gros bisous, bisous, bisous. Hi, I'm Nadia, I'm from Bolivia, and 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 I'm from B
Give, give, and give some more. <laughs> and, there's a, and there's a basket if you walk into the store and turn right. There's a basket for your checks, and there's also a computer. So how many of you, and how many of you want to give again? <laughs> right? Right? I see a bunch of hands. People want to give again. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Thank you.